Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have had a wonderful Father's Day. Yeah, for all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. This is a special day to celebrate the fathers in our life, right? So, you guys heard all about Mother's Day and how Steve said when I was kind of like, oh, did you give me anything for Mother's Day? And he's like, you're not my mother. <laughs> well, I wished him a very happy Father's Day. And he spent the day um, drilling holes in our cement so we can put in a new deck. And um, Haley and baby Val came over to say happy Father's Day. So that was nice. And um, that's about it. We were going to go to lunch, take a, um, a ride on the bike and go to lunch someplace, but then when it came down to it, he didn't want to go, and I was hungry, and so I ate, and <laughs> that all kind of fell apart. You know how that happens? Like, it's like, oh, that was a great idea yesterday, but today, nah. <laughs> so we didn't go anyplace, but you guys, did you see the puppy? Like, oh my goodness. That puppy is so stinking adorable. So Anna just picked up her puppy today. And um, her name is Jersey, and she is a teddy bear. She's eight weeks old and just such a little cuddler. So I had to go over to Anna's house and see their new family member. So that was really cute. And oh, almost makes me want to get a dog, but not quite. <laughs> Dogs are a lot of work, right? I know this. I've had many of them in my lifetime. So um, hang on. I just got done eating a half a sandwich because I was hungry. And I thought, gosh, I don't want my stomach to be growling while I'm on here because then I'm, you know, I probably have more hot flashes if I didn't eat and I was hungry and all the things and you know how that goes. <laughs> so did you guys have a good week? We have had beautiful weather here in Wisconsin. Today was probably the most gorgeous day ever. Um... It was warm out, it was sunny, there's a little breeze, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too humid, it was just gorgeous and I love these types of days. And these are the kind of days that make me want to go camping, just saying. And I did tell Steve that we need to get up north and get our camper home and he asked me why and I said because I stayed overnight in it at my mom's house and now I want to camp. And he goes, where do you want to camp? And I'm like, and the driveway is fine. <laughs> I like all the conveniences of having my house nearby. <laughs> but we are going to do a camping trip with Haley and Jared and baby Val at the beginning of August. So I think we're going to go up. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's by, oh, I just lost it. Shano. It's by Shano. So there's a campground up there someplace that um, we're going to make some reservations at. And I see Kim and Connie coming in. Welcome, you guys. Arliss is watching. So I have, let's see, what else? Um, hmm. Oh, Val, when Val was over today, I brought her in the house to change her diaper and I had her laying on her back and she like almost rolled all the way over. She was like trying so hard and it was so cute. I took a little Snapchat video of it. <laughs> So yeah, she's doing really good, getting big, getting chubby. I love a chubby baby because a chubby baby is a healthy baby, right? Yeah. Hi, Colleen Miller. I'm glad to see you here. Um, Colleen is also a big camper. I, I Are you still camping, Colleen? Because I know you had a big rig. Yeah. So anyways, um, what else is happening in Menasha, Wisconsin? Not a heck of a lot. You know, things continue to open up here. I feel bad for those of you guys that are still locked down. I'm really sorry. I know, I can't. I can't know how long that has been because we didn't have that lockdown for, you know, it's over. Well, it's not over. I mean, we're still being careful, but you know what I mean. I feel bad for you because that was rough. It was rough for as long as we had it. So, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. And like I said, happy, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. My dad, um, my dad passed away in 2012, I believe, and um, yeah, I miss him a lot. Uh, he was a great guy, and I was a daddy's girl, 
Until Haley was born, and then she took it all. She, like, had him wrapped around her finger. <laughs> As it should be. And um, I miss my dad a lot. He was a really funny man. He was very, um, he was a good provider. He was a hard worker. Uh, you would love to listen to his stories. He was a long distance truck driver, owner, operator. And then when my sister turned 18, my mom went out on the road with my dad and they teamed a truck. That's what they call it. They were a team and they drove it 24 hours a day, seven days a week for months on end. And then they'd come home for a while and go back out and my dad really loved trucking and my mom tolerated it. <laughs> I don't know that she really loved it, but she tolerated it because my mom really likes to be home. So that was hard for her. But um, they made a good living off of it that made them comfortable. And so that was nice. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a daughter of truck drivers. Not just a truck driver, but truck drivers. And today I got all my flowers planted, which reminds me, check out my flower headband. Oh, hang on. I got to bend this around a little bit. So, my new friend Susan gave me this. <laughs> uh, Molly was over and she's like, Grandma, I want that. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, Molly, I'll let you have it because it's super cute. But thank you, Susan. I did um, plant all my flowers today. I was really worried about them because I bought them last weekend or whenever last week or the week before or whatever. And you know how hard it is to keep them alive? Because they're kind of getting root bound and you better be on top of the watering or they like shrivel up and die right away. So, yeah, Connie says she misses her dad too. Yeah, I really do. I miss my dad. Um, but it doesn't make me sad that he's gone. I, I prefer to celebrate his life and I always think of him with very fond memories. Like he was super funny. He was a great dad. Like when he would walk in the room, my eyes would just light up because my dad was there and he was home. He was gone for long periods of time, like, you know, uh, two weeks at a time before he'd come home. So it was always like, dad's home, dad's home, yay. And then, oh, dad's leaving again. And so, yeah, that was kind of hard. But he always made sure that we had not just what we needed, but above and beyond. <laughs> my dad was kind of the type that, if the TV broke and we needed a new one or the electric bill was due, we got the TV. Yeah, he was one of those dads. And um, it was it was fun. We never, we never got evicted from any place. We never lost a house or a car or anything like that. But my dad made sure that his family was taken care of before some of the other things. And electricity might not be a really good example of that because it sounds like he was very irresponsible, but he really wasn't. He took really good care of us. So, and Marion said she got flowers for Mother's Day. Yay! Um, and Rhonda was an automotive, worked at an automotive plant forever. Yeah, I'll bet you that's interesting too, isn't it? My um, really good friend Lori, her husband works at um, Ford in Detroit. So they just went back to work too. So yeah, lots of crazy, right? Still lots of crazy going on. So anyways, tonight... I have some floral cards to share with you. I'm super excited to be um, showing you some really pretty cards. And let's see, I'll talk about those in a minute. But first I wanted to show you this. Now I'm gonna mirror my screen, so hang tight with me. And we didn't have any um, flashing before. Oh, and I gotta have to bring you up on my computer screen too. So hang tight while I do that. I'm gonna touch that again. Oh, lots of daddy's girls on here kind of a special thing, isn't it? To be like the apple of your dad's eye, yeah. Um, and, you know, he always gave that little extra and, and I don't know, it was just, it's a thing, right? I don't even know how to explain it. It's a special bond that fathers and daughters share. Oops, let me do that. Okay, I got myself up here on the screen so when we flip it around I can see your comments rolling in. Yay! Oh, and... Oh, and I think um, Noreen must have said that she lost her dad. I'm really sorry. You know, it is it is tough when you lose a parent. Um, I just think, goodness, every day that my dad or my mom is still here with us. And, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard losing anybody you're close to, right? So, this is a cute little box. And um, Haley made this for me. It was to... Um, 
It was a project from my team meeting. I don't think I showed this to you guys yet. I showed it at my team meeting. But anyways, it's one of our little pizza boxes. And these are all of our new in colors and our new in color little um, enamel dots that are really cute. And then when you open this up, it's got all of the new in colors. So this is our Misty Moonlight and the designer paper and the ribbon and the um, enamel dot. And then here comes our Bumblebee. Isn't this cute? And our Just Jade and our Magenta Madness. And last but not least, our Cinnamon Cider. And this is a really cute project that's great if you're a demonstrator to make and share with your customers. You can take it to all your events. The other thing you could do if you're not a demonstrator, you could skip this label right here and you could put a photograph on each one of these where the label is and have a really cute little album. So that, you guys, sparked Haley's idea for a Father's Day gift for Jared. And they took it with them tonight to show Jared's parents. Jared was very impressed with it. But I have a project that I'm going to be um, sharing with you when Haley brings it back. She used one of our mini um, paper pumpkin boxes to make a really cute album like this for Jared for Father's Day with photos in it. And it is smashing, right? It is gorgeous. She also used one of our Memory and More card packs to make the little album. And then she's like, Mom, do you think people would like this? Like a, a, a little album, an accordion album that comes out of the mini paper pumpkin boxes as a kit class. How many of you would maybe be interested in a kit class with an accordion type album? So you let me know because I told her that I would ask you guys tonight. And like I said, she is going to share um, that. I will have it to share next time I'm on. And I see Steve Atchison is on here wishing everyone a happy Father's Day. We already talked about you and Father's Day, my dear. And I wished all the everybody watching and their significant others at home a happy Father's Day too. Yeah, so that was really nice, Steve. Thank you. And I hope you're not streaming music in the garage so I don't have any streaming problems here tonight. I forgot to ask you, so make sure you check that. <laughs> Do you like that I'm talking to my husband through a live feed when he's out in my garage? Well, his garage. Yeah. So, anywho. Um, and Tina's asking if we can get the PDF. So, Tina... I think you have the PDF available. Let me go check here and make sure. W -A -da 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 -da. Oh, I don't know. Hang on just a second. Let me check one more little thing here. And T E N A Wilkin. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm pulling that up. Everybody's wishing Steve a happy Father's Day. Hi, Haley. Haley's watching now, yay! And Tina, um, I'm sure that it will be available as a PDF um, and, and a kit. So I'm pretty sure that we'll be offering it both ways. So thank you so much for asking about that. But you watch for that coming, like next Sunday, I'll show you guys the one that Haley made. And um, Tina's asking if Steve got a card. Well, he's not my father, so not from me. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work so good. Oh, you're welcome, honey. <laughs> he said, thanks, honey. Yeah, so like I said, we were going to go for a bike ride today, but that didn't happen, and it was okay. It's 100 degrees in California today. That's crazy. And Linda says she would love the kit class. Yeah, well, we'll talk more about it when we get something figured out. So, um, this was my cute little idea Well, uh, um, that I shared with my team, a, a cute little idea. I did not design this, but it was a cute little idea that I shared with my team. Now we're going to do our um, prizes from last week. Yay! I love giving away prizes. So, first of all, um, you get three ways. 
first you get um, entered in a drawing when you leave a comment here. So if you're new to me, don't forget to just say hi Kelly or something in the comments so you get entered in that drawing. Second way is by sharing this video. So you can click on that share button right now and share it to your timeline. You never know who is one of your friends that might enjoy watching um, a stamping video. And then the third way is when you place an order with me. So there's three different ways. I give away three prizes every Sunday on my Facebook Live. I have a pack of the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are beautiful. I love these. And this is for commenting last Sunday. And our winner is... Oh, I'm like, what does that say? It says comment. <laughs> like, what? Shawnee Spitzer is our winner. Shawnee is from Maryland. You will find these in your mailbox, hopefully this coming week, depending on how long it takes. You know our mail is still a little jacked up, right? <laughs> then, for um, sharing my video from last week, I have some of the gorgeous golf paper. This is awesome for your masculine cards. And our winner is Rhonda Hargett from Alabama. Rhonda's actually one of my team members. So congratulations, Rhonda. I've got a half a pack of the um, golf paper coming your way this week. And then third, we have the Tags and More Accessory Kit. This is really, really fun. There's a bunch of tags in here. They're colored and they're flipped over so you can't see that they're colored in pattern. All of these rolls of Baker Twine, some of these, whoops, copper clips, and then, whoops, let's see if I can do it right. This beautiful copper washi tape. This is going out to Betty Mims of Georgia. Congratulations, and Betty wins this for being entered in the drawing for placing an order. So, thank you guys so much. I always appreciate it. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, like this video, and then also click on that share button to share it. That really helps me grow my business, and I appreciate it. All right, what else do I have? Oh, we have mail. Last time I saved the mail until the end because I had a ton of it after, you know, I was gone. Um, but today I'm going to share it with you at the beginning. And, oh, my goodness, you guys, the cards that I received this week are just so pretty. Are you ready for this one? Hang on. i got to make sure. This is from Sue Harvey from Canada. Look at that, you guys. So the card, when it came, was like this. And I kind of started goofing around with it. And I'm like, oh, that opens up. Look at that. But I think it's supposed to be displayed like this. And how cool is that, right? I think we need to make this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm thinking we need to make this. And, um, Sue says she misses not having my daily Facebook Lives, but and she loves the stories about my family. Thanks for sharing with all the viewers. So you're very welcome, Sue. Thank you so much. Oops, let's do this right. For this absolutely beautiful card. I just think that's so unique and interesting. So, a little bit of origami going on here. I think we'll have to make one. Yeah. All right, so that was from Sue. Then I have another card here. Oh, this is so pretty from Kieran Karst. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. I love, this is um, To a Wild Rose, I think, stamp set. And then the Sentimental stamp set with the um, rectangle dies, maybe, I think. It's the stitched ones. There we go. It's kind of hard for me to realize what I'm supposed to be doing here. Angling. Angling is hard. Who knew? <laughs> And she's thanking me for some rhinestones that she got as a door prize. She is, Karen is one of my team members. So thank you very much for this beautiful card, Karen. And then I have Cindy Benward. And look, Cindy decorated her envelope. Look at this beauty. This is with um, A World of Good, I think it's called. That's the new suite with the globe in it. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Wow. -wah. And, oops, hang on. I'm dropping things. I wonder, hang on, I gotta see if I'm plugged in down here. I had somebody actually tell me that the first time they tuned in to me, I was, I was under my desk. <laughs> and they said they were hooked right there. Anybody who's gonna crawl under her desk on a live feed is gotta be worth watching. <laughs> I hope I didn't let 
you down. <laughs> Anyways, look how pretty this inside is too. I just wanted to make sure that my phone was plugged in because sometimes it unplugs under my desk. And Cindy, also a, one of my team members, is thanking me for a gift for the door prize that she won. So you are very welcome, Cindy. I love giving out door prizes to my team members. Love, love, love it. Next, we have, I don't remember. I found this tucked under my basket, you guys. So I don't remember if I showed this to you or not. Look at how cute this little baby card is. Oh my goodness. And this was from Joanne Picker, and this is for Haley and Jared. Isn't that just super cute? It's like, it's a circle. Well, it's a little bit more than a circle. You can see that, you know. But isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. So thank you so much, Joanne. And then, <laughs> I thought this was funny. This is from Pamela Hale. Did I show this already? I, I don't think I did sealed with water. Remember we talked about licking envelopes and how it's gross, but I don't care and I still do it. <laughs> so she said, sealed with water, not spit. <laughs> I love that. Look at how pretty her card is. Oh, I love this. It says, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. So she is a fellow demonstrator and she's just glad to have found my blog and my videos. Keep smiling and bringing all your peeps such joy. Thank you so much. This is just so, so sweet. I love that. Then we have a card from Susan. Susan gave me these. Yes, the headband. Look at how cute this is. Absolutely adorable. And Susan is thanking me um, for a donation I made to her. She is part of a group that makes quilts for veterans. And um, she had contacted me and asked if I had anything I would like to donate because they also make cards and they give cards to them too. And so um, I made a little run down to Grafton, Wisconsin. Um, Anna and I went to Ikea last week, and so that's kind of on the way. So we stopped in and dropped off some, some stuff for Susan. And you are very welcome, Susan. Thank you so much for this adorable card. But Susan lives right on the Milwaukee River, and oh my lord, was it like the most beautiful setting where her house and the river, and oh, we got there and she had bowls of cherries and raspberries sitting out for us to snack on. It was just so, so sweet. Oh. Robin said the baby card is called a rocker card. Well, of course. This makes all the sense, right? Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can make it stand up. Look at that. It's slippery. Let me see if I can find something that isn't slippery. It rocks back and forth, you guys. Look at that. And I'm not even doing anything. Like, that is too cute. Thank you, Robin. I had no idea. Um, Haley already saw this card, so I'll be giving that back to her because it was for her and Jared. It wasn't for me. Although I'm sure, you know, she meant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she might have sent me a card too. <laughs> it was so sweet. Okay, so this next one is from Colleen Patton. Love this. Whoops. When life gives you lemons. Live it with zest. That's right, I love that attitude, glasses half full. And you know what I heard recently? It's refillable. My glass is half full and it's refillable. I like that a lot. Um, this was from Colleen. And Colleen was um, concerned about my fingernails, which I still have not gone to get my fingernails done because I don't know, it's a little sketchy, right? <laughs> but um, she sent me some of these Color Street nails and I had so it's Sherry Smolinski that dropped off some um, nails here too. And I wore those when I went up to my mom's house. So I'm, I, don't, I don't think I had them on for a video. But look at these. So you can put these pink nails on, she told me. And then you can put these, um, what are they called? Palms over top of them and do designs. So these are really neat. And Colleen, I am going to give these a try because I've never used these before. So thank you so much. That was just so thoughtful of you. I really appreciate it. I'm going to set these over here so I don't lose them. And let me set the cards back here because I have I have all the 
most of the cards are here and here and over there that I've gotten in the last couple weeks. So I like to share those. Okay, last but not least, before we stamp some flowers, I have pick a pick a free bundle that's going on right now. I'm going to briefly touch on it. You get to choose $125 with the product for $99. Free shipping and get a discount on your future orders of at least 20%. You also get to pick a free bundle. What's a bundle? Let me show you. Celebrate sunflowers and sunflowers. This would be a bundle, a stamp set and a set of dies. Or, let me grab another one here. Er, hang on, I don't want things to fall down. A stamp set and a mat and a punch. If they're bundled together, here, let me see if I can do this right. Um, this would be considered a bundle. So our most expensive bundle, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's like $60. Hang on, my ribbon keeps trying to fall in the garbage. I found it in the garbage earlier. And don't worry, I just took my trash out today. I actually cleaned up my office a little bit. Um, Haley, you'll be happy to know that your space over there is beautiful. And I don't think I threw away anything that you needed. Remember last time I was on, was, was it with you guys? that um, it might have been my team meeting, I threw away a bunch of little bits I found laying on the table over there because I thought it was vellum trash. And it wasn't. It was the spring punch and she colored them with Wink of Stella and had them all piled up there. And I went over there and cleaned up her space and threw them all in the garbage. <laughs> I'm a bad mom. Oh, well, it's okay. Anyways, right now you get to pick a free bundle. On top of $125 worth of product for only $99, you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get free shipping, you get a 20% discount on all your future orders. I will never push you to do anything you don't want to do. Most of my team members are discount shoppers and they love being a part of my team because, of course, being a part of something bigger is so much more fun. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, you have any questions, let me know. You can go right to my blog, www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column is a $99 kit. And you can um, click on that and join my team and order your discount shopper kit, get a free bundle, and a whole bunch of loot for free, right? It's amazing. Um, and Haley, what did Haley just say? She just said something about her spot over there. Oh, hang on. My screen isn't scrolling again. It says, I don't need anything from over there. Just stamps over there for videos you need to make. Yes, I have a lot of videos to make. So, you guys... Oh my lord, I got all of the DSP samplers cut and packaged. They're ready um, for the mail. They're going out tomorrow morning. I worked 15 hours yesterday. Uh, I'd say four or five of those hours were with my, my friend, Kathy Miller. She was helping me. So that's 20 hours now. And then all day Friday until late into the night. That was a big job, but I had a lot of orders. So... Those are going out in the mail. We're going to look at them a little bit tonight. I will be emailing everybody to let them know how to put their DSP kits together. <laughs> Somebody just said you're not a bad mom. I know, but, you know, i got to tease a little bit. Okay, I think we're ready to flip our camera around, right? Um, let me, I'm going to unplug my phone and get my cord where it needs to be. Oops, hang on. Oh, you guys like looking at my armpits? Yeah, probably not. Okay, hang on. I'm having some technical difficulties. There we go. My cord kind of gets stuck in the crack. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Make sure it's still plugged in. And we are good to go. <laughs> Get some lights on here. Do, do, do. Move my computer out of the way. I think we are ready to rock and roll here. And one more thing. Here we go. All right, we're flipping. Are you guys ready to flip? How close am I to my million? I am less than $30,000 in sales away. So all of your orders help that. Now there's a sales pitch, isn't it? <laughs> You guys know that, right? Um, anyways, I've got I've got less than thirty thousand dollars left. So yeah, math is hard, but I'm at 
970 some thousand. Yay! I'm so excited. So, um, we will not be breaking off a chain tonight, but if you guys get on and buy, 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 we might be able to next week. Just kidding. Well, it's true, but um, you know, I'm just teasing. Okay, we're flipping now, so close your eyes if you get motion sickness. There's no throwing up in um, stamping. We won't tolerate that. And here we go. I'm going to unmirror my screen. Just hang on while I get everything oops, straight because it's backwards and that's confusing. And we're going to unmirror. There we go. Magic. Just like magic, right? And I think I have my phone down close enough here. Look at how pretty that is. So this is one of the... Um, uh, DSP samplers. I cut mine wrong. This is cut too big, but um, what you're going to get in your DSP samplers, you're going to get Whisper White cardstock printed with all the names on it of the um, designer series paper. The six by six papers are going to be cut one and a half by one and a half. They're actually three by one and a half. You cut them in half and put them on here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. The 12 by 12 is cut two by four. You cut it in half and flip one side over so you have all your colors. This is this is two by four, which is too big for this sheet because there's more different patterns in here than there is in a pack of 12 by 12. So anyways, I hope that's not too confusing. I am planning on making a video for everybody that ordered the DSP sampler. So you'll know exactly what you need to do when you get your kit. Here's, these are, these are, four by two, cut in half, flipped over. So that's that's kind of what I'm talking about. Now, tonight, we are using the flowers for every season. Do you see the difference? Well, this will have um, little dots on it like this does too. I guess I didn't realize I wasn't done with this one. But anyways, there's more patterns in the six by sixes, so we have to cut them a little bit smaller. These are cut one and a half by one and a half and two by two. You're gonna love having these, they are fantastic. Tonight, we're gonna to be using the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper, so I'm excited to be showing that to you. Now, the Flowers for Every Season is one of those great big suites in the catalog. And by the way, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I would love to earn your business. But you can request a catalog from me so you have this beautiful catalog with all these samples in it. You can sit down and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a cup of cocoa and wrap yourself up and just look through this beautiful catalog. I love having a hard copy. So if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to mail one of these to you. You can email me. Here's my blog. but My email address is kelly at a dot at a stamp above no kelly at a stamp above dot com so that little at symbol um so flower for every flowers for every season this is the suite of products now with this suite of products you get hang on a second let me find where did that did you guys see what i did with that stamp here it is the jar of flowers stamp set I just had to pull a marker out of the garbage. Everything is tipping off my desk into the garbage. Um, jar of Flowers stamp set and the Jar Punch. Okay, that is part of the suite. As well as the Celebrate Sunflowers and these gorgeous, gorgeous dyes, you guys. I have not used this yet, but I can't hardly wait because look at how delicious that flower is. Yeah, so this is part of the suite as well as a six by six pack of the designer series paper. And let's see. Da, da, da. Some of these flowers for every season gems. The memories and more flowers for every season memories and more card pack. Haley was actually looking at this one to do that kit. Look at how cute these are. And you can make cards out of these or use them for scrapbooking. Haley, I'm just gonna set this over here and we'll put that together tomorrow. Um, as well as, did it, oh, mason jars. Look at these cute little mason jars. These are so adorable. Now, the cool thing about these is that it's, it's a little, 
It's a little jar. It's about this wide, okay? It has sticky on the front. So you punch your jar out, you peel this front off and stick it into your cardstock, and then there's also sticky on the back so that you can pour some shaker items in here and then it's already sticky here when you peel this off and you have your little shaker so that's really cool it's also part of the suite the flowers for every season oh you know what i didn't um hang on a second i gotta grab the ribbon Sorry about that, you guys. I forgot that I didn't grab this ribbon. Look at the ribbon. Whoops, hang on. Here we go. We have some really pretty gingham here. This is gorgeous. I'll just put that away later. We've got this, which is like, I don't know, it's like a linen, a really thin linen. And then we also have this beautiful wrapped baker's twine with a silver thread in it. So. This is all part of the suite, and on top of those items is Stampin' Blend markers. So we've got Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. All of this stuff that I just showed you, you can get with one item code, and it's $180. Now that's a lot of money, but look at all this stuff you're getting. You're getting two bundles, plus designer series paper, plus embellishments. Oh, let's not forget this. These are the flowers for every season, memories and more cards and envelopes. So you get, these are already scored for you. Cards in our in colors, which are super pretty. It matches the designer series paper. And you also get envelopes. Now I think these are on back order right now. Um, which leads me to think that if there's things that are not orderable, this number won't work. So if this number doesn't work, that's why, and I'm really sorry, I didn't think to check that. But it's a lot of things you got to know, right? So anyways, this is the suite. This is on page 10 and 11. There's some beautiful, beautiful samples here for you to recreate. And we have two more pages for this suite. So some more great ideas. You can see this. This little jar right here that looks super, super cute. It's got some, I don't know, it looks like um, granola in it. Here's some more beautiful sunflowers. Oh, are those, are those combo pack memories and more? The shaker domes. I don't know if those are part, no. The greenery embossing folders right here. I've also got those get two of these little small little embossing folders okay this does this Isn't that pretty and this one does this oh my lord we're gonna be using one of these tonight so yay okay so that's the whole bundle I just always like to let you guys know um, all the details about what I'm working with so you can make an informed decision and you know exactly what's included with all the things. You can also order any of these items individually. The paper, you know, the punch, the stamp sets, the dies, the embossing folders, the ribbon, any of that can be ordered individually too. All right, hang on. I'm like having a little hot flash here. Oh my goodness, I am very warm. Okay. Next up, I am going to bring in our first card. Got my little cheat sheet here with my measurements on it. I don't think I need much for measurements though. Okay, so like I said, we are going to be using the jar of flowers and the jar of punch for our card. Why is it so dark in here? we go just a little bit more light there and then I've got a rich razzleberry card base get out all my pieces here a this is by the way this is five and a half by eight and a half this is four by five and a quarter whisper white and we actually need two of those and then we have 
Oh, hang on, I've got things sticking that shouldn't be. Then we have some white scraps. So I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. This is what I like to use to stamp on. Um, one of the things I'm going to do here is I want to create a frame. So I took my um, rectangle stitched dies. Oh, let me see if I can get this back in here. There we go. And just wanted to show you which ones I use. This makes a really nice size little frame for what I'm doing. So we've got one, two, three. I use number four and number five to make a frame. So I'm going to lay this in here, lay this in here. I'm going to tack this down with some washi tape and die cut it, okay? So you're gonna run that through your die cutting machine. And when you do that, you're going to get a little frame like this. And isn't that stinking adorable? I just love this. So we're gonna set that frame aside for now. <clears throat> We're going to take one of these Whisper White layers and we're going to find the embossing folder. Here it is. <laughs> like, where did I just put those? going to find this embossing folder that has all the little leaves in it. And I am going to run this through my die cutting machine. Now, it only, die, it only embosses this much. I only want about two thirds of my card front to be embossed. So I'm gonna pull it like this and just run it through and emboss this part, okay, on my Whisper White layer. And, well, maybe a little more than that. But once you do that, here you go. You can do however much you want, but that's what it's gonna look like. So now we're gonna be ready to do a little bit of stamping. I've got a scrap here. I'm gonna grab my Memento ink pad, my basic gray ink pad. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just threw my markers in the garbage again. It's gonna be the death of my markers. Basic gray here and pool party. Let me see, where's my pool party right here. So Haley, all these bins that you had binned up with product, I destroyed because I had to pull out ink pads and markers and all kinds of stuff. So we'll have to go through that tomorrow. Haley was here a lot working for me over the weekend. It was kind of crazy. Okay, stamp set. Here we go. So I'm gonna set this in here. Oh, by the way, this is my host code right now. This is my current host code. So if you do end up placing an order with me, if your order is under $150, you're gonna use this code when it prompts you. If your order is over $150, do not use the code, even though it's gonna ask you if you want to, just say no, because you're gonna get some benefits. You get some rewards, some free money to spend, and I want you to have that. So if your order is over $150, do not use that code. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do here, I love the flowers that are in here. And this is like a bouquet of big sunflowers or maybe Gerbera, how do you say that? Gerbera daisies, I don't know how to say that, but you know what I mean. So, Memento Black Ink, and we're going to stamp this. Okay, look at how pretty that is, right? Okay, so we did that. I know, I get caught up in the, oh my Lord, it's gorgeous. And then we're gonna bring in the basic gray and I'm going to stamp my jar with basic gray. Then I'm going to do this. Now, these are the stems for inside your jar. And here's a little tip for you. I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm gonna put it right here at the top of my jar. Hmm. Really want to do. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, and then I'm going to ink up my stems in the basic gray, and now I'm going to stamp them in my jar just like that. Okay, and now that keeps it right at that edge, so you can. I'm kind of, um, kind of betting that this is not clear, this rim part. So that's why I ended my stems there. And it's your jar, you can do what you want with it, but that's what I chose to do. In my head, that's what's happening. <laughs> Lots of crazy things happen in the head, but yeah. Okay, 
here we go. We are going to, now, the cool thing about this stamp set, you guys, is that it's reversible. So we have this jar, and you saw me stamp it. You get all the details here. If you take the stamp and turn it over, you get a solid image. So we've got a, a reversible stamp set here. Same thing goes for this stamp, which is this little little um, jar bottom. If you turn it over, you get a solid image. Same with the straw here. When you turn it over, you get a solid image. So the cool thing is, you could like stamp the straw in Pool Party and then stra the stripes in a darker color like black and have a blue and black striped straw, which is pretty cool. So right now I've got the flat side of my stamp going to the ink and I'm going to just stamp the water inside my jar. That's all I've done. Oh, and I just realized that I think I just messed up. Well, we'll see. Um, I was gonna color these first before I did that. Nope, it doesn't seem to matter. I, I wasn't sure if the ink would smear or change colors, but with the Stampin' Blend markers, it seems to be working just fine. But I was gonna try to remember to color my stems before I stamped them with Pool Party. But I just learned something new. Doesn't make any difference. I like it when stuff like that, that's a happy mistake, right? Where you didn't just screw everything up because that's usually the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, and I know we're all human. Okay, so I've just colored my stems. And then, hang on a second. I'm going to, as long as I have this out here, I'm going to color the greenery on these floral images. Okay. That was with um, light granny apple green. Now I'm coming in here with dark rich razzleberry. And I'm going to color this flower right here. And I just love coloring with these. Do you guys love these markers? Like, they are the bomb. They're so vibrant and pretty and ugh, easy to use. I just love them. Okay, I'm going to color this whole thing. I could do that center part of the flower a different color, but eh, why complicate things? Then, let's see, where's my rich razzleberry light? Right here, I think. I've got the rich razzleberry light here, too. And I'm going to color these little flowers right here. I've got, ooh, Pool Party Dark. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to color this little flower right down here. Then I've got, um, this is light pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to come in here and color my daisies, my Gerbera daisies. That's what I'm calling these. Now you can make them sunflowers, yellow or whatever color you want, but I'm making it whatever kind of flower I like, and I love me some Gerbera daisies. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right, and it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Nobody gives two hoots. They love some daisies, too. Okay. There we, oops, I missed just a little bit right there. There we go. Okay, oops, one more. How about that? Then... What color for the inside? Well, I decided to use the light basic black. And it doesn't completely cover everything. Like, you can still see some of the details through this color. Whereas if I would use the dark black, I would be blacking out all the little dots and shading and whatever else is in there, right? Okay, so now we are going to punch our jar Oh, my screen is scrolling properly now. So you just put your, you just put your um, layer into your punch. Gosh, if I could talk, right? Look at how sweet that is. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Yeah. Okay, and as long as we still have ink out here, I wanted to pull in a word set. And this lovely U stamp set is beautiful. There's some 
um, dies that go with it to make it a bundle too. But what I wanted, I love the word smile. I always love to use the smile. So I'm going to bring that smile in. I'm going to stamp that with, oops, I got hair on here. Stamp that with Pool Party ink. And then I'm bringing in the classic label punch, which took me just a tad bit of time to find. Haley knows why. <laughs> because it was in one of her bins. Don't worry, it didn't take me very long. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got this. I decided to bring in some linen thread because I felt like I needed just a little bit of embellishment. Char says she has the jar set from a few years ago. I was going to try to remember to talk about that. We had a set, um, a bundle called Jar of Love. And, oh my gosh, it was just the, it was a hot little um, stamp set bundle, I guess. And um, this jar is smaller than that one. So if you have Jar of Love, this would accompany that one very well, like I think that it, it could possibly go together and you would be able to make some really cool stuff with a big jar and a little jar. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my, here we go. I just want a nice little bow on here. That's all I've done. Just like that, okay. And I can move this around depending on where I need it. So I'm gonna set this and this right here. Let me get this out of my mouth. Okay. All right, I think, oh, one more thing. We are going to, hang on, I'm missing pieces. There we go. We are going to take our paper snips. Now, this bundle has the jar punch. It does not have dies to cut these out. So every once in a while, we need to fussy cut stuff, right? And this is fairly easy to cut around. You just kind of leave a little bit of a white border around it. It's not hard. And I just go like this. I kind of work it around. And you'll end up with something like this. Yay! Magic TV! Don't you love it? <laughs> okay. And I will save this and cut it out and make another card with this while you're not watching me because who wants to watch me cut out a bunch of stuff? Okay, we are going to now add dimensionals. And anytime I grab dimensional sheets down here, it's always these, and that's not what I want. But today, tonight, I want those, and that is not what I grabbed. Isn't that just the way it goes? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I've got all my dimensionals out here. Now, for this little frame, I wanted this mounted on dimensionals, so how the heck are you going to do that? Well, you're going to take your paper snips, and you're going to cut, these are the mini dimensionals. They have a very wide border on them, which I really like, and I use for certain things. And I'm just going to snip a little sliver like that, and I'm going to put several of these on this frame piece. And of course, I've already done that, so you don't have to wait forever, right? So there we got, we're, we're ready to roll with that. I think we might be ready to put our card together. Let's get this folded. Heavens to Betsy, just show us. I feel like this has taken forever, but it really hasn't. I mean, it's not, this isn't a bad card. Here comes this layer. Get my glue out. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love. Um, then I need my little pokey tool here. So now I'm gonna take the backing off of my little slivers of dimensional from the mini dimensional edges. This is one of those kind of cards that you're gonna make for someone special, right? Like I'm not going to do all this and send this out to a hundred people. <laughs> this is going to some of, someone who is very special to me. You guys know exactly what I mean, right? 
I mean, there are cards and then there are cards. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that neat? Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our jar. Now, we don't want our dimensionals to interfere with this frame. So I am going to put a dimensional over towards the left side here and the left and the the bottom and the top of the left side on the back, okay? So that's what I've done. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue, maybe, there we go, right here so that my jar doesn't like start moving around. And I just kind of set that, uh, I let go. So that that edge of that jar is pretty close to the edge of the frame. Okay, now we're going to bring our beautiful flowers in, and let's see, we're going to do that. I'm going to probably stick one right there. Then again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on my frame. And now we're going to bring our flowers in here. Now you want to make sure that it doesn't go over the edge there, right? Yeah. Like every time I've done this, I needed to replace it. I don't want this to be cut off on the edge. It needs to fit in an envelope. Then we're gonna take this little jewel and we're going to put a mini dimensional. We have our smile. We're gonna put a mini dimensional right here in the middle, pretty much. I'm going to add a little bit of Oh boy, that was way too much glue. Where's the scrap? Hang on, you guys. Oh, here's an envelope. Just gonna take a little bit of that off of there because that was way too much glue. And now I'm going to tuck this under here a little bit. And that little bit of glue that's on the back of my smile layer is going to stick that to the jar. Look at how cute it is, right? Okay, we're not done yet. Where do those embellishments go? I have, here they are, hiding over here. These are the flowers for every season. Now, one of the things that I love in here all these little dots, some of them are faceted, some of them are just clear, they look kind of like little droplets. I'm going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to do three of these little droplets. I'm using my take your pick tool, here's a big one, we're going to put that right there. Then I got a little one and we'll put that right, I just put dots of glue on my card by the way in case you, in case you didn't know what I was doing there. Here's my last one. Ah, look at how pretty it is, you guys. So, so pretty. I absolutely love this. And then, of course, if you want to decorate up the inside, you certainly can. For right now, I am just going to add a white layer. And then, like, I can put a thank you note in here, like a thank you stamp or something else like that. But for right now, I'm going to leave it so that it is... I can use it for whatever I need. Maybe I need a birthday card, or maybe I need a I'm sorry card, or whatever. But what do you guys think? Do you love this? I think this is really cool. I love the use of the frame. And of course, the um, rectangle stitched dies are perfect for that. And then the jar, the jar of flowers is just so pretty. Okay, now I've got another totally different card to share with you using the same bundle. And I think you guys are going to like this. So I was going to tell you, I made this card and the next card that I'm going to show you for um, my bundle swap that I host. I host a bundle swap every month with a select group of demonstrators. We have like, I don't know, 10 people in it. And each month we pick a bundle and then we each have to make two cards using the bundle. So this was one of my cards using this bundle. And then I'm going to show you how to make the other one. Let me get this out of the way. Pick up some of my garbage here so I have some room to work, right? It's amazing how much of a mess you can make in just a short period of time. 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here comes my little cheat sheet. This time we're going to be using the brand new Bumblebee. This is one of our in colors. And of course we have all kinds of matching products. The designer series paper matches really nicely. So I am going to bring in my bits and pieces. So Bumblebee. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Thank you guys so much. I'm just able to kind of catch up on your comments here a little bit. And don't worry, Mary, about being late. You can always go back and watch the replay. Not a big deal. So this Whisper White layer is four by five and a quarter. I am going to add um, a piece of designer series paper here to the bottom. And that's just gonna be my decoration for the inside. Now, I may decide to stamp some some type of a sentiment on the inside, but I'm gonna wait until I know what I need. Do you guys ever do that? Just make up some cards that could be used for anything and not stamp the inside. I like to do that because if you need a card in a pinch, you can personalize it at that moment. So here comes our white inside. Ta-da! And then we've got four by five and a quarter, same size as the white one in Bumblebee. And you're going to take that embossing folder again, and you're going to emboss the right side of this layer, okay? So we're gonna run that through our die cutting machine and emboss it. And when you do that, here it comes. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Then I have a piece of our Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper, and this is just two by four. And this is a great size to cut your paper because it leaves you with even amounts that you can cut a whole bunch of these. Like you don't have any leftover when you cut two by four out of a 12 by 12. Does that make sense? I'm always thinking in those terms because that's what I, you know, I always like to maximize my Designer Series paper, especially if I'm making swap cards because you can sure go through a lot of paper when you're doing that. Okay, so we're just gonna add this to our card front. There we go. Then you're going to have a scrap of Whisper White and you're going to die cut it using one of the stitched shapes. And I've got one of the larger circles, so I've already die cut that. And now I'm gonna take this other beautiful flower. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they are delicious and I'm growing some out in my planters that I planted today. I should post some pictures. You know, the flowers always look a little like eh, when you first plant them. I'm hoping they'll perk up by tomorrow. By the way, I'm using this just because, and again, another card that I can use for any occasion. This is coming from the lovely You stamp set, and don't you love these fonts? I love like the block print and then the funky font. Like I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. So you want to stamp your just because first. You want to make sure that you have room for that before you go any further. And now we're going to take this big flower and we're going to come in and we're going to get just as close as we can to the words without stamping over top of them. Isn't that pretty? I love that look. Okay, so hang tight because it gets better. <laughs> we're going to take some of our Stampin' Blend markers now, and we're going to color. And I'm using Mango Melody Light and Dark, and I always like to do just a little bit of shading with the dark. I'm just gonna come in here to these little flowers and give them a little bit of shading around these petals. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in, and these look like little, um, what are those little bell flowers called? I can't even think right now, but that's what they look like. Little bell flowers. Annabelle's or I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I like flowers, but I'm not your expert on them by any means. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to do the little hairy insides here. I don't know what you call those either with the little hairiness in there. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to come in 
and add the light mango melody and just blend just a tiny bit I really kind of want that dark the dark lines to stick out good oops I missed a little bit right there oh and I'm gonna do these little folly things <laughs> I don't know what to call them then we have just Jade now of course if you ordered this whole suite you got the new in colors um, that we have available in our stamp and blend markers so I'm using the Jade and I'm using this because it's going to match the leaves in my designer series paper so that's why I chose this particular green in here let's see this is a little green too right there okay oops I didn't do very good coloring that there we go now those white flowers that are all over here I'm bringing in my wink of Stella and I am just going to add some glimmer to the white flowers and I know this is super hard for you guys to see this in the camera but can I just tell you that this is so very elegant it it almost you're like almost like oh, look how pretty that is I missed some there hang on got to hold it up to the light so you can see what's going on with it I hope you can maybe see that let me look at my camera a little bit see if you can really can you see that it's so so pretty I absolutely love it okay and then we are going to add some of these fun little in color enamel dots and you guys can see, I, I made these for a swap, so I don't have a lot of my bumblebee colored ones left. Only three, and that's exactly what I needed for this card. <laughs> so, whoo! I got another pack, but all the yellow ones are gone off of there, too. So I'm just adding three of those. And then before we're done here, just because I have all this coordinating product right I'm gonna bring in some of that just jade in color ribbon and tie a nice big bow here there we go and we're gonna trim this and then this mini glue dot Oh Lord, I know I had some. Okay, there. I must have put them away. That's shocking, right? And I'm just gonna put this bow right down here. Put my ribbon. Hang on, I got something weird going on here. There we go. Put my ribbon right there. We're gonna add dimensionals to the back. This is a pretty good sized circle, so I'm doing three dimensionals. Well, that one got a little close to the edge. Let me move that. I want to see my dimensionals hanging out from the front, right? Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to put this about right over here. <gasps> what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? I love this card. I absolutely love it. And here's the other one same stamp sets two totally different cards out of it I love this whole suite of products and I haven't even touched on the um, sunflowers I didn't even do I haven't even touched this yet I just used this bundle over here with the designer paper flowers for every season that's the name of this and then let me get you the name Oh, thank you guys so much for all the hearts. Please make sure you click on that share button to share my video. That really helps me grow my business and I appreciate it. So here we go. Uh, jar of flowers and the jar punch is what we use tonight. So, and this is the flowers for every season suite of products. And I have to tell you, these were so easy for me to make. So you ever sit down with a stamp set and you mess with it and mess with it and mess with it and you can't come up with anything that you really like? 
that was the opposite using this. Like I immediately, boom, boom, boom. I had two cards made and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. When it's easy and the ideas come to you because, um, I don't know, the set is just very functional. That's what I love. Like those become my favorite, favorite bundles, favorite stamp sets, favorite colors, whatever the case may be. But you know what I mean? When you sit down and things are easy and they work easy and you can create and you make stuff that you love. I love that. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I'm going to flip you back around now. We're going to see if I start breaking up because that's kind of been the pattern lately is that when I flip back around, then I start breaking up. Whoops, hang on. <laughs> but I really don't think that has anything to do with it. I think it's just Facebook was being stupid and you know that they hate me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, they probably do, but whatever. That's my problem, not yours. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I I love, I love these. Like, they are so fun to use. And I haven't even touched that little jar um, dome thing. I haven't even used these yet. Like, I just whipped out these little deals. Aren't they cool? Um, I just whipped out these cards and went, these are going to be in my bundle swap. So it was perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Judy, for the share. I really appreciate it. Now make sure if you're watching now or watching later on YouTube or later on Facebook, you can click on that share button no matter whether I'm live or whether you're watching a replay. And I do appreciate that. If you're later on YouTube, also click on the bell. That'll give you a notification when I, um, load up a new video it'll tell you oh hey kelly atchison has a new video on youtube so oh thank you so much somebody just said really gorgeous cards tonight thank you so much i so appreciate that thank you pat stamps i appreciate that yeah these are fun and this paper like this is really easy to work with too it's beautiful and of course you get all the coordinating colors over here now if you happen to miss my DSP samplers and you would like to get one, I have a few extras made up. They're not going to last long, I can tell you that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, hang on, I'm digging for things. Um, I have not, I'm going to be closing out my Nothing's Better Than class. I have a kit going right now. And I, I, I said the deadline to order and be guaranteed the kit was Friday, but I haven't closed it yet. So just wanted to mention to you guys, because I had some people going, hey, Kelly, are you still offering these kits because it said Friday? If my buy now button is still up on my blog, on my website, and you can click on it and buy something, then it's still available. Because once I go get my numbers, then I will go in there and turn that button off or put sold out on it or whatever to stop the orders. But as long as those buttons are still up there, it's still purchasable for any of my kits or online classes. But yeah, isn't this cute? And this is just a different color, vari color variation. But, oh, they're backwards, aren't they? Hang on, let me mirror my screen again because I can <laughs> without any problem. Super duper cute. I love this. Now, what's included in this kit? You get the Melon Mambo blends, which are new. There are alcohol markers. You get a half a pack of the um, Bright's Designer Series paper. You get two mini paper pumpkin boxes. The new seal adhesive. So you get a whole roll of with a dispenser of seal adhesive. And you're going to get crinkled white... Whisper White Seam Binding, all for $49. That includes pre-cut cardstock pack for four different cards, two of each for a total of eight cards. Video tutorials for each one of the projects. Plus, I have a little bonus going on. Haley made up one of the little paper pumpkin boxes. Look at how cute this is. I haven't. She hasn't glued this on the front yet. But you're also going to get this as an idea. So you get two of these paper pumpkin. These are mini paper pumpkin boxes. This would be perfect to put one of those individual packets of coffee in that you can buy from Door County Coffee. Yeah, this would fit perfectly. 
but look what she did. She stamped those coffee cups all over the box and then made the cute little cover on the front. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So you'll get this idea along with four other ideas for cards. You get to make two each of those. You get two paper pumpkin boxes. I had um, a blog hop with a video for this card and so did my partner Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada. She, she and I go together to make up these kits. She has another video on her blog, which the link is on my blog, so you get two additional ideas to go with this nothing's better than. And you've got nothing's better than cocktails, nothing's better than coffee, nothing's better than chocolate, nothing's better than cookies. Cover, you cover all the realms, all the realms of your friends. <laughs> I love this set. This is actually um, designed and created by my friend Connie Stewart for hitting her million dollars. So, yay! Isn't that cute? Haley, you did a really, really good job. Thank you so much for your hard work. She has been working hard for me, and she's doing an incredible job, I might add. Not just designing stuff, but she started doing some of my computer work typing up project sheets and she is so good at it like there has been very little I, ha I don't have to hardly train her at all she's just boom 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 she's a sharp cookie that one <laughs> and she remembers things <laughs> unlike her mother who can't remember anything so yeah yeah Connie says order Kelly's class everyone they rock so you can only get my kit class if you're um, in the United States. We don't sell across international borders. Um, but I do have other online classes that you can buy if you are not um, a citizen of the United States, if you're from a different country. Um, there are other classes that you can buy. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, did I miss any questions? If I did, now's the time to ask them. Whew, I'm sweating like crazy. I have my fan over here that Linda gave me too, which I've used several times in the last few days. Linda, thank you so much. So Steve went to Costco and I had him pick up one of those, those portable air conditioners that like you can put it right in the middle of a room and then there's a hose that goes to the window, but you can like, it's, it's easier. You don't have to like mount it all in a window, which is, you know, weird. We don't have windows for as a rule that open up and down like this. Our windows usually slide or crank out. So then that's a problem for a window air conditioner. And yes, we do have central air, but I hate air conditioning. But it would be nice to turn on an air conditioner to just take the humidity level out of our bedroom when we sleep at night, right? I'm not opposed to that. But I'm not turning the central air on for this giant old five bedroom house to cool me off for the night. Like that seems ridiculous. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I don't know. I grew up without central air and I just don't like it too much. Steve's gonna take a shower and get the humidity out of here. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I bought one of those. So we need to see how that's gonna work. How Joanne wants to know how do you get the DSP sampler paper? Again, it's on my blog, Joanne. You're going to go to www.astampabove.com and in the right hand column is online classes. Click on that and you're going to see the DSP samplers. There's an advertisement there for it. There's a buy now button. You click on that to buy now. There you go. Oh, Char says she has two of those. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a freestanding air conditioner unit. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Char. Yeah, they're kind of pricey, aren't they? Because we bought like a little window unit for Haley's bedroom like 15 years ago. And that worked really great for just cooling off her bedroom. Because she's on the back of the house, so it's like an oven. <laughs> so yeah. Hi, Chris Colley. I miss you. I miss chatting with you. Chris and I were part of the Great Lakes um, Regional Advisory Group or something like that it was called. So and Diana wants to know, is that gold foil behind the writing on the box? Yes. Yes, it is. Good eye. Very good eye, Diana. That is gold foil. So these words are die cut twice, once in gold foil and once in gorgeous grape. And then they're just staggered a little bit to give that shadow effect. That's really good. You picked up on that. Oh my gosh. Susan said in New York it was 91. What? 
Yeah, 92 today, 93 tomorrow. Oh, I love all that, you guys. I know you think I'm crazy, but I love me some hot air. <laughs> and somebody just said they die with that air conditioning. I know, right? My mom would, too. Like, she does not like the heat at all. And she actually gets kind of sick if it's too hot. But she has central air. So, and you know, when we were at my friend Barb's house out in Wyoming, Dina and I, um, Dina didn't have this problem, but I would make those guys go for a walk every day. And it wasn't just to get exercise because, like, I really didn't care about that. You know, don't tell Bev. <laughs> but um, it was for me to warm up because their house is air conditioned and I freeze. I'm just freezing in the air conditioning. I like it in my car. Like, that's a deal breaker for me. If my air conditioning breaks in my car and my car is kind of old, I'm, like, done with that car. Like, okay, this is my last straw. Like, now I need to get a different car. And I don't even own a car now. <laughs> I do require air conditioning in my vehicle. I have a few standards. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, Judy said it's going to be 111 this week with a low of 109. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. Paula said it's a little hot there. Yeah, and Marion says it costs too much money. So here's the deal. If we turn on our central air, our electric bill for the month will be over $400. Our pool takes a lot of electricity to run. And even when all the kids lived here, we didn't turn the central air on. And they'd be like, I'm hot, I'm hot. Go jump in the pool. Like, I'm not running air and a swimming pool. You can pick. Well, they couldn't pick. I picked. The pool's staying. Air's not coming on. Go cool off. Oh, I was a hard, you know what? <laughs> yeah, so, well, when you got that many kids, you got to kind of run a tight ship, right? Yeah, why so much? Um, the pump for our swimming pool costs about probably an extra $200 a month because we have to run it 24 hours a day. It's a bigger pump. We have a 20 by 40 in-ground swimming pool, and it's about 40,000 gallons. That's a big amount of water to keep moving. You can't turn the pump off because there's so much water in the pool that it'll turn quickly. Like it'll go, you know, green where then you got to go buy a bunch of chemicals to get it straightened out and blah, blah, blah. It's all, it's all chemically, it's all scientifically figured out. And yeah, I'm in charge of that. And I know that's scary, <laughs> but I run that pretty well too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, now they can't wait to get in the pool. Exactly, exactly. No air conditioner is ground for divorce. In a vehicle, yes, I'm all with you. Like, I, no, I need to be comfortable in a vehicle. And you know what, though? I can turn the air down and roll down the window when I get cold, so it's really easy to adjust when I'm in a vehicle. But I am cold a lot. It's weird. And then I have hot flashes, which you guys all know. Up and down, up and down, up and down. That's like psycho. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so fun with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. You don't know how much I appreciate your friendship, your viewing of my videos, your sharing of my videos. I just so appreciate it. You are what's helping support my business, which is paying my bills, which is, yeah, it's warm and fuzzy, right? You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. I do have a new online class coming out. It was supposed to have been released on Friday. However, I was running behind on those DSP samplers. And guess who still hasn't touched her taxes? Oh yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Until I get, I got the samplers done. Now I need to do the taxes then I will get the online class up for you guys because I know there are several people waiting for it to purchase it. And um, I can't, in all good faith, send something new out for you to buy when I haven't fulfilled some of the things that I needed to do. Does that make sense? Like, okay, now I got those DSP samplers out. They were a little late, but they're good. They're done. They're in the mail tomorrow morning. I couldn't release another class on Friday when I hadn't had that done. So it's coming. Be patient. You're going to love it. I've had so much fun with the Artistry Blooms bundle, you guys. It's amazing. So 
I'm going to let you go. Um, have yourselves a wonderful week. I will see you. Did you mention? Okay, so hang on. Anna's saying thank you. Did you mention? Are you still doing daily videos? No, Anne, I'm not. Um, when I went to Wyoming, I quit doing the daily videos and I was doing them to help everybody get through their um, quarantine. And since most of the country is opening up again, plus I was drowning. Um, I had so much fun with those. I absolutely loved it. I wish I could continue to do daily videos, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes to make those happen. And I just couldn't keep up. It's not, it's not reasonable. <laughs> I already don't have much of a life. So that just sent me right over the edge. It's summer, I have a grandbaby, and I need to spend some time with my family. So I know you guys understand. And a lot of people don't realize the hours that go into after the Facebook Live is done. The hours leading up to it to create the content for it, and then the hours afterwards to do the photography and the editing and the blog post and the Pinterest and the YouTube and the Facebook and the um, and the coding and the HTML coding and the all the, it's just crazy, all the things. So, I will see you guys back here again on Wednesday. Um, I'll probably be on again before Wednesday because I will have the Artistry Blooms class up. And that requires a video because I always do a video introducing them with a project. So, um, but otherwise I'll see you on Wednesday for my weekly, wait, what? Tip video. And um, again next Sunday. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.